Hi, this is Melissa Hevener, and this is another episode of In My Life with Psychic in Your Pocket. And today I had a lunch with a friend, and we were talking about the creative process and kind of how it works. And it also got me thinking about kind of what I do as a intuitive or as a medium. And I'm not exactly a channel when it comes to mediumship. Channel is someone who actually channels the energy of the spirit of the deceased person and sometimes uses their physical body to allow that energy to channel through and they get messages that way. I don't particularly work that way as a medium. I can see the spirit and hear them, but they actually stay outside of my physical body and I have a conversation with them the same way I would with someone living. If they can't generate enough energy to communicate, because it does take a lot of energy for them to fully materialize, then I can see things symbolically in my third eye, or they can communicate with my guide, who is actually on their vibe or on their vibration, or can get to their vibration easy. And then my guide, who I have constant connection with, her name is Robin, can then translate or give information to me. So she works kind of as the spirit translator for me if the spirit can't um, generate enough energy to just come through for me themselves. There are mediums that work more as a channel, which means, as I said, that they use their physical body as the vessel to allow the spirit to come close enough that they can basically almost inhibit the physical body, inhabit the physical body, and then use the medium or channel's physical body to convey messages. I, as I said, I don't work like that for mediumship, but I do channel information when I'm writing, and I do channel information for creative projects. I'm a little bit daunted right now because I'm thinking about working on a treatment for my book about my life, which is called My Life with Robin. And it's a little bit daunting to me, one, because I haven't written a full feature script before. Most of my experiences with television and writing for television, both in advertising and in creative script writing for television. but. Um, Anyway, so I'm a little bit daunted about writing the, the screenplay treatment of my book just because it's my personal story. And I did actually work side by side with Robin, who of course has been with me since I incarnated in this lifetime and in past lifetimes. And she told my life story, which makes my book a little bit different. but. It's a little more nerve-wracking to try to approach the story in a creative sense and think about doing it in a motion picture, but that's one of the things that I'm sort of, I guess, going over in my mind how to do that, um, to have that separation to allow the creativity but still be true to the story. So I had a meeting with a friend of mine today and we were talking about the creative process and I just realized I do channel angels and guides and even spirits sometimes for something creative but for mediumship I strictly uh, work outside of my physical body and connect with spirit. So I thought that would be interesting for you guys and as I mentioned before please submit your questions about spirituality, about my life as a medium or a psychic and I'll be sure to answer them in a video blog. Until next time, love, light, and blessings.